Javante, is it is a player you kind of listen to what coach had to say about this rivalry as a player who's played in it several times just what makes this one special i mean they've always uh been games that go longer than four quarters you know um i remember going on a, coming to a recruiting trip here um i seen you know my first first the first game as a rivalry so um i think it went into uh three three overtimes or three extra overtime quarters I come in my freshman year, it wasn't really a competitive game. Sophomore year, overtime, junior year, overtime. So you never know what to expect going to this game. And um, just like this week, we're we'll going to come and play and, and be ready for whatever comes our way. What's that make the week leading up to the game like for a player, knowing that you can expect a, a game that's going to go extra time and all that? I mean, like I said, um, just be ready for anything that can come your way. Um, Trick plays, whatever, you know, it's the end of the season. Um, like I said, big rivalry is going to go into it. A lot of animosity can be built up. So, I mean, just, just be pre prepared and ready along the way. It seemed like defensively you guys really rebounded from that Rice loss. You played one of your best games uh, against Old Dominion. I mean, what was the mindset going into the game last Saturday? Stopping the run. That was more of the things we uh, wanted to focus on, stopping the run, uh, keeping the quarterback limited, throwing the ball in the air. And um, just just making sure everybody doing their job in the assignment. What does it um, mean to you to have played more games in a Blue Raider uniform than anybody has ever played in over a hundred years of playing football here? Man, I'm just blessed and thankful for it. You know, just being able to play the game so long, and um, you know, even with the injuries I've had, to still come back and, and continue to play. So, I mean, I'm thankful and I'm happy to still be able to play uh, coming into this week. Well, like I asked Joe, um, you've played in this now one time. You've been here two years and seen this rivalry. What makes it fun for a, a player leading up to the game this week? It just gives you a lot of motivation. I had one of these games like this in high school where it was like basically real close and you know you knew what was about to happen. It was about to be a great game, great atmosphere, and it's always a fun one to play in. Offensively, you guys got off to a fast start against Old Dominion, which has kind of been different compared to other games. I mean, was that – how can you guys build off of that from Saturday to, into Western Kentucky? Just learn from what we did in that game and start fast. That was really what we preached all week, was start fast and finish strong. Uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday, what's it like as a player to, to be able to eat with your, with your brothers and stuff and uh, anything in particular that you have on your mind uh, eating-wise? Yeah, it's a great, uh, great time because we get to bond more. We get to hang out and just enjoy ourselves. It's been a long grind this season, you know, and I'm um, just looking forward to having a good meal. Ham, turkey, or both? <sighs> Got to go both. Yeah. Can <laughs> You're a lineman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's a little odd, too. Your best performances this year as, as a football team have been in the rain, mm -hmm. uh, and there's rain in the forecast for Saturday, but it's going to be warm, which Coach will like that. He's, mm -hmm. He yeah, likes yeah. warm weather. But uh, can you take anything from that, that why you guys have played so well in the rain? No, well, we prepared. We practiced in the rain that, prior to that game on Friday, so that prepared us really well. Um, well, we just really all had a good time that one game, and it was, we all got after it, and the moment was rolling our way. Like Coach said, defensively, they have one of the best defenses in the conference. Uh, I mean, what have you seen out of them that they do so well, especially D'Angelo Malone, who's one of the top players in the conference with sacks? Yeah, they're really athletic. We just got to understand what they do and try to contain them as much as we can and just learn their tendencies, like how I said last week about those guys from Old Dominion. They're great players, and it's going to be a great challenge. And what a better way to go out at the end of the year, playing a team like that.